Hi everybody, it's the first Sunday in winter and we're going for a walk at the Briars, just in Mount Martha. So it's our 10k walk, so uh, 10k radius lockdown, so we're going to go and um, stick with us because we're going to take you with us. Wildlife Sanctuary walks all start at the Visitor Centre. There are three different walks you can do here, one woodland walk and two wetland walks, of which one is wheelchair friendly. So here we are at the uh, wildlife sanctuary part of the Briars, which is fantastic. We're um, having a lovely day out for a walk. Now, I have to tell you, there's rumours that there are emus at this property. Now, we've been here many times and we've never seen them. We've seen plenty of emu poo, but never an emu. So hopefully this time we get to see one. There are two beautiful bird hides in the sanctuary. Both allow you to sit quietly and just observe the wildlife in their natural habitat. Be quick. I can't believe it! Oh my god! We found an emu! First ever! The Visitor Centre and Wildlife Sanctuary are open every day of the year, except for Christmas Day, from 9 till 4.30.
did you know that the Briars has been open to the public since 1977? Hi, hello. We've just found a seat to sit on, so make sure when you come for a walk through here um, that you do take time out to sit down and just listen to the beautiful wildlife and you can see there'll be little birds flittering around, so it's really, really special. Yeah, so it's good to sit still because then the birds get a little bit more confident and get closer to you and there's a good chance you may spot a kangaroo as well or, if you're really lucky, a koala. And we've never seen Which a koala yet. Seen it. Yeah. <laughs> fingers pulled, fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> There are lots of animals to look out for on your walk, including koalas, emus, kangaroos and echidnas. Many Australian animals sleep during the day, so they may be hard to see. The team here at the Briars organise after dark wildlife walks. That's the best time to see Aussie animals. You'll notice many animal tracks leading off from the main path, but make sure that you stick to the path because that's where it's the safest place for you to be. The wildlife sanctuary has a very high electric fence. This is to keep the animals on the inside and the predators on the outside.
Of course, dogs are not allowed in the sanctuary. Okay, so we've just finished the walk through the wildlife reserve area and um, it's been lovely yeah, as usual. It's been a lovely walk, yep. We saw an emu. Yay! First time ever. We didn't see a kangaroo today. We no, didn't. no kangaroo. But we do have photos of kangaroo that we'll pop on the video for you. Yeah, and Still we haven't didn't seen see a kangaroo. Oh, never mind. Yeah. But we saw lots of beautiful birds which we took some photos of for you. So now we're at the section for the, it, it's backwards, but it does say historic oh, homestead, homestead walk. walk. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go up there because as you can see, there are some uh, grapes behind us. Yep, there's vines there. Yep, uh, and a historic house. We'll tell you more about that in a couple of minutes. Stick with us, there's yeah. more to come. The Briars is one of the first houses built by Europeans on the Mornington Peninsula. It was first settled in 1840. You'll see there are still a number of old farm machinery and implements stored at the property. Dry's homestead was completed in 1851 and occupied by Alexander Balcom. Balcom was born on the island of St Helena and when Napoleon was exiled there, his father had business dealings with the former emperor. Balcom's granddaughter, Dame Mabel Brooks, established a collection of Napoleon-related memorabilia which is displayed in the homestead. As you saw, the homestead is currently closed for renovations. Well, that was a lovely walk. It's one of our favourites, but it's only a few minutes from Mornington and Mount Martha, and you feel like you're in the countryside. Actually, you are. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you are, uh, which is why we love the Mornington Peninsula. Absolutely. But um, stay tuned. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that one, and we want you to stick with us yeah, because we've got we're more to come. we are going to take you around a whole bunch of different places on the Mornington Peninsula in coming days. So, so stay safe. Stay well, and we'll see, see you, you next, Tuesday. next Tuesday. Here are some of the absolutely gorgeous animals that we've been able to capture on previous visits.